Wheat prices crossed that $5 threshold. Kim, let's talk about that. This, this last week, uh, we closed 501 on Wednesday. We was up 5758 on uh, Thursday. Uh, you notice we ground our way through this uh, $5 level. We've been trying to do that for the last three or four weeks. And I think what we got to pay attention to is that we ground our way through it. We slowly came through it. You know, often when you break a strong resistance point like, like $5, that it just crashes up. You'll get a 10 or 15 cent price, uh, price move. I think that tells us that this market's just going to continue to grind itself higher. I think the target will probably be around $5.20. It's got uh, some light resistance at $5.20. At $5.30, I think we've got some pretty strong resistance. I, I, I'd expect at least $5.20 out of the market. That's $18 or $19 or maybe $5.30. So why did we cross that, that $5 threshold? Well, I think it's got a lot to do with what's going on in Argentina and Australia. They'll start harvesting in within the next week or two, probably about two weeks. Uh, you know, 80% of the world's crops have already been harvested. Harvested. The next two exportable crops is Argentina and Australia. It's been dry. They've had some uh, some production problems in that area, and I think the market has just lowered the expectations for production in those countries. Uh, lower production uh, means higher prices for us. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Speaking of weather conditions, it's you know, parts of Oklahoma got a little bit of rain this week. Other parts didn't. Let's talk about that. Well, uh, it's been dry. Uh, you talk to producers all over the state. Uh, a bunch of them's been dusting it in. Mm -hmm. I think the good news of the ones that got the rain, it was a light rain. It wasn't a hard rain to pack that soil so that uh, this seed can come on up and we can get started, maybe get some cattle out on that pasture. Uh, this rain uh, where they hadn't uh, planted, uh, we're going to see those planters moving and uh, hopefully we'll see some wheat in the next couple of weeks. Now, let's talk about the cost of production of the guys out there in the fields right now and how that could play into the, 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 the price of wheat, say, in June and July. Well, as you look at the uh, harvest of 2016, that July contract, uh, it's uh, you know up in the, the uh, 545 level. The basis around most of the states around a minus 40. If you get in southern Oklahoma, it's it's a minus 50 cents. If uh, around Enid area, maybe a minus 27 some there. But using a minus 40, the market's still offering you a, around five dollars and a nickel. Most cost of production is uh, five dollars to 475 or less. So most of the producers in Oklahoma right now, at least, looks like the market's going to offer them slightly above. Of co variable cost of production. It won't cover their total cost, but at least it's going to cover their out-of-pocket cost. Uh, of course, there's a lot of time between now and next June, and as you know and I know, a lot can happen to these prices. So there is a possibility of a profit for the Oklahoma wheat farmer? Over variable cost. I don't think there's much of a likelihood of, if you're selling at harvest right. next year, of the prices getting that other dollar or so of fixed cost that uh, wheat prices would get up to that six dollar range. We'd have to, uh, our crop would either have to be relatively low or the foreign crops not be, uh, the planting and the growing uh, conditions of them uh, not, not very good. Okay, thank you much Kim. Kim Anderson, Grain Marketing Specialist here at Oklahoma State University. University.